Hey, Christina here, and I am here with Baby Wearing Tips Tuesday with the Ergo Baby Omni 360, and we're going to talk about newborn mode. We're going to talk about newborn mode because we've noticed a few people in the wild with the baby's legs tucked in. This carrier was designed to have baby's legs out, and I'm going to show you why. So in newborn mode, you want to make sure you have the two tabs um, in the narrowest setting for a newborn. You want the headrest folded in, so it's folded in for the head and neck support. And then you want to make sure your buttons are always engaged, but for this carry, an inward carry, you want them on the black buttons. So I'm going to start this carrier high and tight, almost on my ribs, right under my boobs, because this is a newborn. So if baby, in order for baby to be visible and kissable, I want her nice and high. So I went through the safety elastic. You always want to go through the elastic and then clip, and then I'm going to tighten. So since I have a doll that's newborn size here, I'm going to show you some things that I couldn't otherwise do with a real baby. So baby is, this carrier is designed for baby to actually sit on this seat with her legs out. Now the way it was designed, she's literally sitting in here almost like a hammock so that when I pull her to my body and put her in the carrier and clip it, uh, long hair, long hair, don't care. Clip it, tighten. You always want to loosen and tighten every time. But what you can see here is this carrier was designed for baby's feet to be out so that it maintains the C curve of her spine and the M shape. The other reason why you always want to have baby's legs out is because if their legs are tucked in, you're not maintaining those positions but also her legs could slip through the waist belt of the carrier. So you always want to make sure baby's legs are out in the newborn position of the Omni 360. Thanks for joining us for the Tips Tuesday.